I would just rather not. Hey, she looks cute. Do we want to be difficult like that? Nah, bro. That's gonna mess it up. Why am I like this? I don't know. Oh gosh. This is, uh, this is not looking right. But at least we have a cute bullet journal. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Danny, and I make bullet journals slash lifestyle content and honestly just videos where we get to chill and hang out together if that's what you're kind of like into then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos today we are going to be doing our plan with me for the month of may it's going to be a little different just a little bit so usually it takes me a couple weeks just to do a video like this 40 plus hours from start to finish it takes forever honestly it doesn't even have to be that complicated i just to make it that complicated. I am just that type of person to make things complicated when they don't have to be. So in effort to save my sanity, I'm gonna be challenging myself to create my monthly setup from start to finish in one sitting. How possible is that? I don't know. And honestly, we really only have maybe like three hours to do this with filming and stuff because I have to go to the gym later. So if anything, that's gonna be our push today because we gotta get the shit done before the gym. It would defeat the purpose if I have to film this again tomorrow. I'm gonna be taking with me during this challenge and you're gonna see me do this from start to finish, from gathering inspo, ideation, sketching, coloring, all the way up until the finished product. So let's get started okay so first things first is a the theme and the theme that i have decided to go with is princess and the frog instead of drawing the actual characters i like to draw things that kind of remind me of them use colors symbols that you often see just anything that really reminds you of the world that they come from so in this case i'm thinking we do something with lily pads maybe some like swampy water cute little froggies or maybe like some fireflies maybe a night sky because i know that like that was kind of like a motif in there with like the wish stars and whatnot i'm definitely thinking lots of greens and yellows but yeah can you can you can you see it are you are you with me yeah that that's that's the vision that's what we're gonna go with that's what we have for now but maybe later we'll get some more ideas but we are gonna start on pinterest because pinterest is my girl she's the bestie all right let me take you over there all right so we are gonna go over to pinterest we're gonna type in princess and the frog and just see what comes up we're gonna make a board real quick. Me Bujo23. Yeah. I really just like the um the environment. Oh, this one they got married. I'm gonna see this one. This is really cute. I'm gonna see this too. I like how the trees look, you know, the swamp vibes. And maybe we'll do something like that. This is not really giving me exactly like what I wanna. Ooh, I feel like it'd be really cool to have something with the alligator playing his like little trumpet. I forgot his name, but we're just gonna say <laughs> alligator princess on the frog. I kind of want to draw something with him, like swimming in the swamp. I'm just gonna see this. Okay, so now that we have a general idea, we are now going to pick our colors, our color scheme. To be honest, I already have an idea of which ones I want to use, but I'm going to swatch them anyways. What the colors look like on the caps are not always what they look like on paper, so that's why it's always important to swatch. Here, I just have a scrap piece of paper, the same paper from my bullet journal, and I'm just gonna use that to swatch my colors. And I like this green color. It's very on brand with the swamp vibes that we want to create. It's so pretty. I think it's like too green, too bright of a green, too primary. And then there's this pastel one, and I really like this for some reason. Here is the teal color, and I think I'm gonna want to use this for the water. Oh, that's pretty. So I think we're gonna go with these three for our primary colors. I think it'll look really nice. Okay, so before we actually start drawing on the bullet journal, we're gonna be drawing on the sketchbook first so that we can try out any of the ideas and see if we like it or we don't. To save ourselves some time, we're gonna be going with the same layout that we did last Plan With Me video, just because that layout has been working for me really well for the past couple of months, actually. I've been using the same spreads and same layouts, and I don't really feel the need to switch it up because it's been working. So we're just gonna be using the same layout, but obviously, the decorations, the drawings are going to be different. And I know we had that one picture that we pinned when they were dancing on the lily pads, and maybe we could do something like that. 
I typically like to have like my notes and stuff here somewhere. Calendar is gonna look like this. Obviously, we could definitely do lily pads. I don't know, something like that. Mm, we might change this. I'm kind of iffy on that. Okay, but the thing about this is that we might have to use watercolor to make this work. Yeah, I kind of like this idea right here. I don't know, this is like the easy way and this is, this is me being extra. <laughs> and I have no idea which one to do. So I think we should just start on this and then if we have time, I really want to try this one out and if not, then we'll go with this idea. I think we're ready to start. Okay, so here I'm just very roughly sketching out the frogs. And you know what? I literally just said I avoid <laughs> drawing characters. I do my best to not have to draw the characters because it's kind of a pain in the ass and I would just rather not. And yet here I am drawing characters. I have such a hard time with like proportions and drawing bodies, like human bodies, let alone frog bodies. How does this even work? I feel like I might not even draw their facial expressions, to be honest. Maybe we could just do like silhouettes. Ooh, I don't know, is that an option? Is that what we really want to do? Do I want to try? Nah, bro. <laughs> we're not doing, we're not doing their facial expressions. That's gonna mess it up. I think we're gonna do the lime green for Tiana and then the jade green for the prince. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Yes, queen. Okay, she's cute. It looks kind of odd that <laughs> there aren't any um, eyes, but it's fine. We're gonna move on because if not, we're gonna be here forever. Yeah, she's cute. She looks cute. I'm not even done with it yet, but I'm really liking how this is looking. Oh, my upstrokes are so bad. But she looks cute still. Hey, she looks cute. We're gonna go ahead and write in our headers. I kind of like to do these in lowercase. I don't know, it's just cuter like that. Cute, cute, cute. Love that, okay, cute. Mm. <laughs> that makes me nervous, but... Okay! I like that! She looks real cute. What the heck? Good job, team. Yes, she looks good! We had already drawn this in like the dark green, so we kind of want to balance the brown out by writing the numbers in the same brown color. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Yes, she looks cute, we did that. Moving on, finally. Wait, before we do that, let's add our highlights. At this point, I, it just feels weird when I don't add the highlights to my letters. You know? 
now it looks right honestly guys i don't know if we're gonna be able to finish this before gym time but we are gonna try anyways we're gonna do our best but at least we have a cute bullet journal she's cute look at her oh my gosh i love that i love that for us moving on we are now going to create our tracker spreads starting with a habit tracker this really helps me when i'm like sketching in especially when i know what the layout is going to look like already is kind of creating a ruler with the bullet journal paper and you want it to be the same paper so that way it's like you know it matches i just numbered them and that way i can measure them out if i want to go back to doing the same spread that i've done before and that saves me a lot of time so try that out do i want to do something different do we want to be difficult like that hmm i don't know first of all i'm exhausted but maybe we just do it uh, it would be just so much easier to do the same thing to be honest but like I want to do something different. Ah, I don't know. Why am I like this? You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to do it. I, I think we failed our challenge, guys. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. If you couldn't already tell, we definitely failed that challenge, but you know what? It's all good. We're just gonna pick up right where we left off. And honestly, it's not really a complete loss. Although we failed the challenge itself, overnight, I actually finally figured out exactly what I wanna do for the background of the page or the tracker pages. Sometimes you just gotta let your ideas marinate and sometimes it'll taste better marinated. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, we're just gonna get back into it and pick up right where we left off yesterday. Now that we finally have that down, we're gonna go ahead and start coloring in the tree trunks and then we can go from there. It looks good, y'all. Actually, I'm liking how this is going. I kind of want the leaves of this tree to be a tad bit lighter compared to everything else. So in order to do that, we are gonna go in with like a combination of this lime green and this yellow. I think I'm going to color the entire thing yellow first for the base color and then build on top of that. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. I think it's too big of a contrast. Oh gosh, this is... Uh, this is not looking right. Um, it doesn't look that great right now, but it's fine. We're going to trust the process. We're going to use the yellow, the other yellow, to blend these two together. Okay, okay. It's kind of getting there. I just, I'm not very sure how I feel about this lime green. I think we kind of messed up, guys. <laughs> this is not looking pretty. Oh, dang, I should have stuck between these two. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just wish that the lime green wasn't so strong. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, it doesn't look so bad, right? <laughs> it could be worse. It looks kind of weird right now, to me at least. But what I'm hoping for is that once we bring all the other greens into the picture, it wouldn't look so weird. I hope so.
Now we can draw in the mossy algae thingies in the water and the lily pads. It's cute. I like it. She looks really cute, but I also think it looks kind of odd without the water, does it not? Okay, we're gonna use the slime green to create some ripples. Honestly, with the ripples, it looks so much better. It makes a lot more sense now. It looks like it's actually in liquid rather than just like floating in the middle of nowhere. Lastly, I'm just gonna go in with the highlights. Wow. You know, I think the spread turned out a lot better than I thought it would. But now that we're finished doing that, we're gonna go ahead and cut the excess that we don't want since this is going to be like a little mini page. I usually use a exacto knife and a cutting mat, but I honestly don't feel like pulling it out right now, so. If you guys hear thunderstorms, wind, and rain, it's because it's starting to rain outside. And so this might just turn into a rain ASMR bullet journal session. I don't know, but that kind of sounds nice. Oh, those O's look horrendous. <laughs> Since it says good night and whatnot, we're gonna add the little stars. Evangeline and Ray, RIP. Yeah. All right, so we finally made it to our weekly spread. I think we're gonna go with this idea right here. I really wanna have Lewis in here somewhere, so I think this would be a really cute way to incorporate him. Then to kind of bring it all together with the rest of the theme, we are gonna bring back the vines um, at the top of the page and then of course add like the lily pads and stuff. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I thought something was wrong there. So at first I was thinking like, hmm, let me just not overthink the banners. Let me just do like a highlight banner and call it a day. But I think it would look so cute if we did like a lily pad and then the number inside. Okay, okay. I think that'd be really cute. Let's try that. I know we already put like the little stars in the previous spread, but I kind of want to draw him in too. Because we have Lewis in here, so it's like, we might as well draw him in. Wow, I really said I wouldn't draw characters, and here I am again, drawing characters. When I told myself I wasn't going to. Now I'm gonna use a white pen to create some highlights in the water. Make it look like it's glistening, you know what I mean? Now we are just going to color in Ray. I honestly wish I had a lighter 
olive green if that makes sense kind of like the color of tiana's dress um, but i don't unfortunately at least not a lighter green that doesn't look like it's lime green you know oh gosh i honestly don't know how to feel about this but we're just gonna keep going um he doesn't look his best dang he really doesn't look that great it's okay it's okay we're gonna go in with a black liner and i think this will help it okay he doesn't look bad right <laughs> Right? He looks cute, actually. Since we outlined Ray, I think I'm also going to outline Lewis. It just makes sense. It just has to be, I think it's gonna bring it together too. Lastly, we are going to draw the vines that are falling from the top of the page. And I really like to make the ones on the edges of the page really long for some reason i just think it looks cute like that and i'm kind of alternating between which way i'm starting the curves that looks really good now we're just gonna use the lime green to draw some lily pads and since it's kind of like a bird's eye view um, I'm going to draw them very similar to how I drew these lily pads. Um, wow, it honestly turned out a lot better than how I thought it would. And I'm really proud of us. We did that. It might be my favorite theme for this year so far. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite spread and also if you like this style of plan with me. I honestly really enjoy doing it like this and hopefully it turns out really well. I was a bit anxious on how the video itself would turn out because obviously I've never done it like this before but I think it's gonna be good and I really really hope you guys like it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. There are still so many more months to go in 2023 and I'm sure we're gonna be coming up with more badass themes for our bullet journals so don't want to miss out on that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.